we're going to modify the structure of our benefit table a little bit. So we are going to go into design view. We're going to right click on benefits and choose design view. And then below life insurance, we're going to key in pension date. And this is going to be date. So I'm going to do a D. It's a little shortcut. And the description they want is type date. Employee is eligible for pension plan in the format DD-MMM-YY. Example, 31-December- Oh, I don't even see what year they have. Oh, 18. Okay, so this is basically what they want for a format. So uh, we are going to help them out a little bit by adding an input mask. So we're going to come down here to the input mask row. And if you click in that row and you look to the right, you're going to see an ellipsis. Three periods is called an ellipsis, and we're going to click on that. And yes, we'll save our table. And that's going to open up an input mask wizard. And it just so happens the format we want is one of the pre-formatted input masks. And we want the medi medium date. Okay, so we're going to click on medium date. And we'll click on next. So this is what that input mask is going to look like. And basically, to decipher <laughs> this for you, um, the two zeros indicate numbers. And then there's a dash. And then this greater than sign in front of the L. L indicates a letter or text. And the greater than sign indicates that it'll be capital. And then you notice we have two more L's, and before them we have a less than sign. And the two L's are four letters. And the less than sign means lowercase. Then we have the dash, and then we've got two more numbers. Okay, so that's basically what that is telling you. And so once we look at that, we're going to click on Next. And then we're going to hit finish. And that little format that I just explained is in here. Now you'll notice that they put a semicolon and a zero. Um, basically, you can specify different formats uh, for positive, negative, that type of thing. Um, you can also specify whether or not you want the data stored this way. So having the zero here indicates that this format that we display, we do want it stored in that format. Okay. And then you'll notice that there's a semicolon and a, an underscore. So the underscore is going to display when we get to that field. You could actually have any character here. But whatever you specify, when they start entering the data, that is the character they're going to see. And most often people use an underscore, because otherwise it's very confusing. <laughs> if the uh, user saw a bunch of question marks when they were trying to key in the date, that would confuse them. If they see an underscore, it just looks like it's part of the box or the cell they're entering data into. So we've got this input mask specified that's going to help our users enter data. And they do want a caption on this. So right below the input mask, we're going to key in pension date. And then let's save our changes. And then we will go ahead and go to data sheet view. And let's click in pension date because we don't have anything in there yet. Okay, so you can see, as I mentioned, when you click in there, that last character that I talked about right here, the underscore, that is what is displaying. Okay, and you could actually have any character display, but most often you are going to see the underscore. 
And then we're going to miskey it first because I'm going to try to key in a 0 and a 7 and it won't let me. Okay? Because it's expecting text in the middle. And then I can do a number at the end. So the input mask basically helps the user enter data, but it also ensures that the data is entered correctly. Okay, and I'm going to double click here, best fit that. And then I'm going to press enter. Um, after you enter the pension date, it displays like this. So it, you enter it one way, and it's stored the same way that you're entering it. But it's displaying completely different, and that is super confusing for anybody who is using this table. So we're going to go over to Design View, and we are going to choose that medium date format. So it will display the same way that you enter it. So we're basically going to click in the format row, click the arrow, and we're going to choose medium date. We're going to save this. And now when we go to Datasheet View, the way we enter it and the way it is displayed match. And that is the most user-friendly way to handle the date.